my God, it is a perfect day. I know you're doing great. And I want to talk to you about three specific things that you can begin to do to intentionally create the life of your dreams. I'm talking about living like a fucking king or queen in paradise. Yes, you can do this and it doesn't require nearly what you might think. The very first step, the very first thing to live in like a king or a queen is to begin to change the way you think. I'm here at beautiful Lake Muma. This is kind of just I'm kind of just one little spot of it, but um, just enjoying life, living it up, having fun. This is something that I enjoy. Uh, camping rustically is something that really brings life to me. I really enjoy it. And this moment could not be more perfect. Being here with you in this moment is just wonderful. Uh, so let's talk about the first principle to lifestyle design. This is lifestyle design 101. And that is this, it's the 80-20 rule. I talked about that in a video that you can check out here earlier. And we're gonna apply it in a slightly different way right now. And that is this, typically 80% of most people's energy or time goes into things that they feel like they have to do. Uh, I have to mow the lawn. I have to eat dinner. I have to go to work. I have to get this paper done. And we're spending all this time, and we've been taught from like day one to spend all this time with the have tos, the projects that we have to get done. And you, if you're anything like me, or you grew up any, like anything like I did, I was taught that to do the things I want to do, I have to do these other things. So let's work that 40 to 60 hours a week so that we get to do this. And so in essence, we've been trained to work to give 80% of our energy so that we can enjoy 20% of the time that we have. Give 80% of our time to enjoy 20% of our time instead of being taught to give 20% of your time to the have tos so that we can spend 80% of our time or we'll give 80% of our energy to the things that we're passionate about, to the things that we enjoy. Now, if you hang on to the very end of this video, I'm gonna to talk to you about one key principle that will enable you to give 100% of your time and create a lifestyle where you're giving 100% of your energy to the things that you enjoy. But you have to wait till the end of the video for that. So back to the 80-20 rule. The 80-20 rule is we want to basically develop, we want to get rid of that 80%. We want to somehow eliminate the 80% of having of the have-tos so that, or at least a large portion of it, so that we are, that 80% now becomes get-tos or joys or something that's bringing real joy or pleasure to us. And now what we're doing is now what ends up happening is 20% or we're trading, 20% becomes have tos. So 20% of my energy, 20% of my time is something that I have to do. And then 80% of my time is things that I want to do. Now, how would you like to make that shift, that change? The way that you begin to do this is you begin to sit down and just find out what's important to you. Because vast majority of us, if we just change the way that we're thinking about life, then we can actually right now without making another dollar, we can change things so that we can start spending more time doing the want to's and less time doing the have to's. Oscar Wilde says, Oscar Wilde said, if it's popular, it's wrong. Consider everything that's popular. Now, when we look around, everyone's doing it. It's just what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to work that 40, 60 hour work week so you can go out and enjoy the weekend. Wrong. It doesn't have to be that way. I could not tell you the last time that I worked for the weekend. I could not tell you the last time that I worked hard through the week in the hopes to get into the weekend to party it up. Fuck that shit. That, and that's a phrase that will really help you. Video link here in your life. Fuck that shit. Powerful phrase. Powerful three words. But back to the point. 
if we're working, spending that 80% just to, do, oh, come on guys, there's more to life than that, right? So, so the very first thing is decide what you want. Really put some emphasis into what you want. I'm going to insert a diagram right here for you to begin to really look at like, is this what I want? And start dreaming again. Start to learn to dream. And, and as you learn to dream and you start giving your energy to the things, to that dream life, to dreaming, then all of a sudden you'll find that you'll attract the things that you want to you more effortlessly and easily without having to work so hard for them. So as you're filling out this, this uh, dream line, I want you, and you can find uh, this dream line. I'm going to put the form here. You can find it. I'm going to drop the link below and uh, for this dream line where you can, you can fill it out on your own. But I want you to think, take the cap off your thinking. Start thinking like a billionaire. If you had $100 million right now in your pocket, in the bank account, what would you be doing? What would you be doing differently than you are right now? Because, see, we've been trained to think, where our entire world revolves around two things, time and money. And we're working so hard for money instead of working to play, instead of playing and enjoying and celebrating life, we're just working, 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 working for the weekend and for the one day when I retire. And so what we wanna do is we wanna begin to shift that mentality. The way that we do that is by dreaming again, learning to dream again. Take the cap or the limits off of your mindset. This is one of the most important things that you can do. Um, step number two, also important, is called the trading concept. Now I want you to consider, if you will, for a second, when we're trading, we're always trading, always. What are you trading for your time? What are you giving your time for? What if instead of giving your money to get things, you started giving your money for once in a lifetime opportunities. You know, I have a lot of, a lot of my clients and a lot of my students are like, well, I wish I had more time for my family. That's not a good goal. What would you want to do with your family with that time? Would you want to go to Spain? Go to, go to spend a month in Jamaica spend a week uh, or spend a, you know, three months touring Europe, what would you want to do with that time with your family? Would you want to sail around the world? You know, like stop thinking small and start removing all the limits and going, you know, what would I want to do? What could life look like? And really start dreaming again. And then realize that right now, if you could just take, remove some of the limitations, if you didn't have to have all of the things. So if you had that extra $500 per month, which then equates to just over, you know, um, how much per day, figure out what it costs per day. If you didn't have that car payment, the 500 a month car payment, what could you be doing? And so a lot of people are actually getting things, but they're not able to do a whole lot. I personally would rather do than have. Instead of having stuff, I'd rather be able to do. And so I've been willing to trade the haves, like the stuff, like having the huge house or the brand new cars for things like, I get to take that money and now I'm inserting it here for these once in a lifetime opportunities or for travel or for spending the weekend at the lake, you know? And, um, and so you can immediately, if you just assess what your priorities are, decide now if, if those have tos are important for you, then by all means, you should be enjoying them. Absolutely. But the trading concept, just understand that you are always trading for something. Always trading for something. And if you really decide what you want, what you truly would like to have or do or be, then all of a sudden you start to be very, much more specific in what you're trading your time and energy for. And then the third thing and probably the most important thing in Lifestyle Design 101 is this. Contentment is the best canvas. And what I mean is you're, if you're approaching life as an enormous canvas and this world is an enormous canvas in which you get to create whatever you desire, whatever life you want to create, you can create it. You absolutely can create it. And because you can create it, then the 
question becomes, how am I creating or what canvas am I creating it on? A lot of people are creating it on a, a lack mentality. Their, their drive is coming from a place of, I don't have it. I really want this. I need this. And so I'm going to go after it. What I've discovered for me is that contentment is the best canvas. I am fully satisfied and content. And because I am, then I'm enjoying every moment as if I was a king. I'm enjoying this moment here at the lake camping in a rustic way, in the same way that I would a villa in Spain. And the reason why I'm enjoying this moment is because I'm fully content. I don't need much. I don't actually have many things that I want any longer. They're not important to me because what is really important to me, I'm just talking to me personally, is to really touch each moment that I am in the most deep, intimate way possible. That's what's really valuable to me. And then having those experiences in remote places and being able to travel and experience those sorts of things in beautiful places like this right here. So contentment is the best canvas. Now here's the secret. Once you learn to be content with what you have, and then you start really creating from a place of contentment. Here's the secret, the biggest secret that no one's telling you to how you can begin to spend 100% of your time, say fuck that shit to the 80-20 rule and spend 100% of your energy and time to the thing that you're passionate about. And this can only happen when the canvas is contentment. It's only possible when the mindset has changed and you go from I need or I want to I'm fully content. And this is that. Learn to monetize what you're passionate about. That's right. When you monetize what you enjoy, for instance, I really enjoy being here with you and doing these videos and, and uh, teaching and sharing the things that I'm learning or the things that I'm growing in or the things that have really impacted my existence with you. When you learn to monetize what you enjoy, or even if it's not bringing in money, you're just enjoying it, then it's perfect. I don't need to bring in money for this shit. I would do it for free. Um, but when you learn to monetize that, then 100% of what you do is I get to, I love this, I want to do this. And so now all of a sudden, you're not only having experiences of absolute ma majestic, uh, kingly experiences, but now, you're also always doing the thing you want to do. This is the power of contentment. And it really is a beautiful, beautiful secret, a beautiful tool. And maybe I'll talk more on that at a later point. But I just want to leave you with this right now. Understand this one thing. That if you want it or would like to create it, you can. It just requires a change in thought. If you're tired of working for someone else, then it requires you to begin to think differently towards your life. If you're tired of the nine to five grind just to be able to provide for that house and that nice truck that you own and, and a vacation and two weeks of uh, vacation a year, why well, spend two weeks of vacation a year? People are like, I love vacation. I get two weeks a year. It's so exciting. I got a job with two weeks. Fuck that shit. I want six months, nine months of vacation a year. I want to teach you how to live life as if you're on vacation all the time. That's my goal for every single one of you. And, uh, and, and you can experience that. Listen, if you haven't subscribed to my videos, go ahead and subscribe now. It's going to be powerful and change your life forever. Also, listen, I would like to uh, encourage you to check out the vid last video. It's gonna be also a beautiful one. I don't know what it was, but I know it's gonna be good. I love you guys. Hope you have an absolutely beautiful day. Remember, the more you awaken, the more you play.